Kevin O'Toole gets his first start since July 16th, and it's the pairing underneath the compliment that will be for Santi Rodriguez, who doesn't have a goal in the better portion of four and a half months. May 7th was the last time that they got him on the score sheet. They need help on the front line, and your eyes have to veer towards that right-hand flank, though, on the attacking side with Facundo Torres. Five goals and an assist in his last five matches. It's on the flank, it's in the interior, it's up in the nine. He can do it all for Orlando City. And now they are potentially looking to nip at the heels of Supporter Shield leaders FC Cincinnati, and they have a chance to clinch a playoff spot. NYCFC will change the angle. Ledesma, good looking ball in, finds Perea, takes an awkward first touch, takes a deflection. What a save from Galese, and it's cleared away. First real chance of the evening goes to the home side, and the Pigeons cannot believe that they didn't get off the schneid in the opening three and a half minutes. Ooh. Andres Jason of dismay about the ball that was played through. He's feeling it. And every single movement you're getting out of him right now is one-on-one -on -one or in open space down into the corner, cut back across, take advantage. Rodriguez trying to take advantage of just that. And it's going to be a goal kick. Ishmael Elfath immediately pointed to the six-yard box. From our angle, it looked like he grabbed his back right foot first. Good touch around. Here's the only thing I can say. He comes in front of him a little bit, but the contact is still made by Enrique. That's a penalty. Do you think his right leg runs into him? Well, it wasn't long before Ishmael Elfath was given word that he should go take a look at it. That was a much better look right there. You got a point to the spot here, right? It's close. I... Maybe his right leg actually but his does back go into leg, him. That's what I'm saying. And it is a penalty. Well, that didn't take long. In conjunction with video assistant referee, Ishmael Elfap decides that the initial call was not the right one. And NYCFC will have a chance from 12 yards away to take a 1-0 lead. Sixteen long matches for the Uruguayan. And a huge spot here. Approaching the halftime whistle. Santi Rodriguez saved by Galese, and the follow-up is not at home. It's Munsef Bakrar who picks up his teammate, and NYCFC do have the lead. It's one to nil. He does telegraph the penalty a bit. Makes it understandable that Galese can read this full extension and a fantastic save. But you don't have the coverage on the backslide. Rodrigo Schlegel does not drift with him. And Grace, if it's off the foot of the Uruguayan. It is Pareda. Not his best effort, certainly not his worst, and had the interest to freeze. And that should be one of the final acts of the first half. Martins towards Bacar. Jason kept it in play. And finds Bacar. The one loads from distance, and Galese needed to make the save after the deflection. First half has gone. Just Jason once again, one on one. Certainly, he's just slowing. He doesn't expect him to have a strike this far from distance. Asserted himself as the main choice at the outside right back spot. But I know. Quite thread the needle. Cartagena goes to the ground. Ismael Elfath says play on. And then the foul for Manaujo. And it's going to be a yellow card for Cartagena. Where I was going with that was almost picked up on the counter by MYCFC. Try to add layers to this attack coming forward. It does two things. One, Orlando City makes NYCFC get in a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations defensively. Here at City Field. And Devin, if you would like to translate for our not so savvy Espanol friends. Latin night. That's right. Thank you. Babel's working out. <laughs> it's weird though, I'm taking French. Parlez vous? Si ou non? Uh, another one down again. Actually, Ledesma behind. That's not been kind, has it? 
You can also, if you wanted to, and this was one of the considerations coming in, bring Santi Rodriguez into the midfield and drop either a Tylus Magno, Alonso Martinez, or Julian Fernandez onto that front line, which may be the direction that he goes to make sure that you don't burn yourself and go defensively right away, and that's exactly what he's going to do. In towards Magno, dealt with by Schlegel. One by Rodriguez as he stays on his feet. It's been relentless pressure from NYCFC over the past couple of minutes. Jason got the delivery away. It's Magno! Finally, the Brazilian is back on the score sheet. And look what it means to the youngster. And what it means to the Pigeons. 2-0 to the home side. But watch him persevere through. Wins the 50-50 battle against Luca Petrasso. That's going to come back to haunt him. And just notice the patience. He doesn't hit this first time because it's 3v1. But all of a sudden, that back shoulder run, Andres Jason, who has been incredible tonight, mind you. Two separate times in the past two minutes on the diagonal. Rodriguez recognize it. Jason knows he puts this up. Talos Magno at just over six foot one. Let him go up. Schlegel. Facundo Torres. Flick header, easy enough for Freeze. And we'll continue to wait for the final whistle for him. Ishmael Elfaf. And there it is, full time. NYCFC take down the best roadside in Major League Soccer in Orlando City. Their unbeaten streak comes to a halt at six. And the pigeons can breathe again.